You wanted to know when it's okay to go on a diet after having a baby. You mentioned that you lost some weight, you started to put it back on, and you want to get those pounds off. And extreme diets should be avoided whether you just had a baby or at any time in life because they're not sustainable. You need to pick a diet plan that you can follow for life and basically it just comes down to eating healthy food and eating correct proportions. Not all calories are created equal. So you can see how like an apple is 100 calories and a handful of chips is 100 calories, but of course the nutritional value you get from each is very, very different. One has lots of vitamins and nutrients and fiber and the other is just empty calories and a lot of sodium and fat. And so make the calories that you eat count. Keep in mind that when you're exclusively breastfeeding a baby, you need to eat four to 500 extra calories a day. And this is above and beyond your own body's requirements. And so again, make those calories count. Eat lots of fresh fruits, veggies, whole grains, low fat dairy, healthy fats, and lean protein. Also continue to take a prenatal vitamin because that will ensure that you're getting everything that you need and that your baby needs. Also keep in mind that your goals about how much weight you should lose and how fast it's going to come off need to be realistic. It took you nine months to put it on, and for some women it takes nine months to get it off. Diet and exercise are definitely a part of it, but so are hormones, and breastfeeding can affect the rate at which some women lose um, fat from pregnancy. Some, it just melts off them, and others just hold on to every single ounce until after they're done breastfeeding. And there are also other underlying conditions that can contribute to issues with weight loss like thyroid problems and other hormone imbalances. So you can look up body mass index online or BMI and find out what you currently are and it takes your, your height into account. Once you've calculated your BMI, you'll find out which category you fit in. You're either underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. And of course you want to be in the normal range. That's healthiest. And so that will help you figure out what weight range you're shooting for. Like I said before, of course, exercise is also an important part of weight loss. And a lot of people think that all they need to do is get cardiovascular exercise. And of course that's good. And you should get 30 minutes of moderately intense cardiovascular exercise on most days of the week anyway, whether you're trying to lose weight or not. But strength training should also be incorporated into your program because it builds lean body mass. And the more muscle you have, the more calories your body needs to sustain that muscle at rest. And so if you have more muscle, you burn more calories throughout the day. And that's just a win-win. Talk with your doctor if you have more questions about weight loss goals that you should make or about specific diets. And they'll be able to give you tailored advice and information about it based on their knowledge of your circumstances. If you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.